Cut that bit out. They they call it a rude name. Yes. We call it stabber. <laughs> Good morning. I'd just like to say thank you to everybody who's watching. Coming up is a nice step by step guide how to install the new timber feathered edge fencing. So stay tuned and uh, if you like what you see, hit that like button. Thank you. For this job that Shipley, I busy lane. Look what we're doing. Just through this uh, little shared ginnel here. We, we did this one a few months ago that had all blown down. You can see it lads did this with this little gate. So we're literally replacing one, two, three panels with some feather edge, so only a really small job. The customer here is a good lad. He actually wants it all doing, but this neighbour, as you can see, has already bought his panels. He's supposedly doing this, but I think he does one panel a month. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a nice, easy job for him. I'll just take these down in a minute and replace them. So, as you can see, they've already got this fence down. Not that long. Just dig, digging this first hole here. First hole dug there, good two foot deep, Not if you can see with the sunshine, but good two foot deep is that, and then they'll just rake the soil out afterwards. As you can see, they'll just check the height of it there. They've dug it a bit, a bit too much, probably two foot six. And that's what happens when it's easy digging. Probably just wants to come up a tad more, yeah. They'll get a bit of cement under the bottom so it sits thing will just roughly get it set up now and see see how it's just getting it flushed at top there and then you're just testing the gap at the bottom there just try to leave about a two inch gap so that looks perfect to us I'm gonna take a step back look and then what he's trying to do is get a line as he's looking down he's trying to line it into this post here Lovely day now. The sun's in the eyes. As you can see, I've got my sunglasses on. You got a bad of these? And you see, I just put the water in first. But just uh, the point straight in all the way around. Just activates it nicely. And then. Uh, have you got your stabber? Yeah, over there, yeah. Where? Yeah. Cut that bit out. They, they call it a rude name. We call it stabber. <laughs> There you see how he just stabs it in, just makes it solid. And just try and cleat posts as we go along with cement on it. So pretty much hold it straight away and then he'll stick another bag in. That's it, it's pretty much gone off already. And that's it. Charlie will just fill it up now and then splash a bit more water on. Lovely day, I wish all days were like this, don't you? Well, shit, Bit of a difference from yesterday. What, tomorrow's rubbish, you mean, James? Yeah, just another splash of water. Just makes it go off like bell iron. Not like old days when we used to have to mix it all by hand. Oh, 
that's it, that'll, that'll set really nice in. Just leave, leave it a little bit low, let it go off and then we'll chew a bit of that mud over then you see it just makes it, makes it nice. And that's it, like now I say, go, they've got this one in. So they're just laying the rail out here, just trying to decide which way is better from this side or that side to avoid the old concrete from the old force. He's just setting his, I don't know whether well you can see it on camera, he's just setting line up here. Make sure we get him in line and he'll shove it over the top for his heights as well. So he's set his line up here for the line of the force. And we wrap it round a few times then you see it there. So he gets the height. So when he puts his in between force in, easy when you've got the right tackle. And that's why we have to bring as many tools as we do. Marking out the rail. Right, 32 inch, that's your rail height, that's Rails are set at what we marked out you enjoyed our step-by-step -step guide to installing timber feathered edge fencing if you like uh, any more sort of step-by-step -step guides let us know in the comments uh, if you like in general what we do give us a thumbs up a like and thank you very much till next time